Hey everyone, tired of ads and trackers slowing down your internet? Today we're comparing three popular DNS-based ad blockers, Pi-hole, AdGuard Home, and NextDNS. I'll explain each one and help you decide which is best for your needs. Let's dive in. First up, we have Pi-hole. It's a free open source software you install on a device like a Raspberry Pi. It acts as a DNS sinkhole, blocking ads and trackers network-wide by filtering DNS requests. You host it yourself so you control everything. Perfect for privacy lovers. Setup requires some tech know-how, and it only works on your local network unless you use a VPN. Next up, we have AdGuard Home. It's also free and open source, running on devices like a Pi or even a router. Like Pi-hole, it blocks ads and trackers across your network. It stands out with a sleek interface, built-in support for encrypted DNS like DOH and DOT, and easier client-specific filtering. Setup is slightly simpler, but it's still self-hosted. Finally, we have NextDNS, a cloud-based DNS service. It's not self-hosted, so you can configure it on your devices or router. It blocks ads, trackers, and malware with over 100 filter lists and lets you customize settings per device. It's super easy to set up and works anywhere, but the free tier limits you to 300,000 queries per month with paid plans starting at $20 a year. So how do they stack up? Pi-hole is best for privacy-focused tech enthusiasts who want full control and don't mind self-hosting. It's free but needs maintenance and isn't mobile-friendly without extra setup. AdGuard Home is great for those wanting a balance. It's free, user-friendly, and supports encrypted DNS, making it ideal for home networks. NextDNS shines for simplicity and mobility, perfect for non-technical users or those needing protection on the go. But it's not free forever, and you rely on their servers. If you're a DIYer, go with Pi-hole. Want a modern interface with encryption? Pick AdGuard Home. Need something quick and portable? NextDNS is your choice. That's it guys, check the comparison chart below to see the details and which one are you leaning toward? Drop it in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tips.